Hello citizens and welcome back. In today's video I would like to talk about trading, cargo hauling and other forms of commodity exchange, how it works, what is planned and what are the issues. As always, if you like this video, sacrifice a like and a comment to the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more. And here's a shout out to our amazing patrons for their support of the channel and the armory. Thanks to their contribution I was able to make a big upgrade to my recording setup so let me know if you hear any difference. Star Citizen is supposed to have a fully dynamic economy sometime in the future. And as I explained in my economy deep dive series, players won't be the major force influencing the prices of goods since there will be more NPCs working to create a balance or a certain state as set by CIG. The price of services will work a bit differently but that's a topic for another video. However, whether carried by players or NPCs, cargo will be the main driving force of price changes and economy state. So then we can take a look at the two main professions centered around cargo, trading and hauling. Some of you will say that I am forgetting about smuggling, scavenging and deliveries. And to an extent you are correct. Smuggling is just an illegal sub-profession of trading or hauling and deliveries are just a small scale version of hauling and scavenging sits somewhere between trading and resource generating professions. By which I of course mean mining or salvage or any other profession that generates a commodity as opposed to professions that manipulate commodities. And then we also have service centered professions like bounty hunting, mercenary work, repair and refueling. Together these three groups create a cycle of supply and demand. For example, to be able to supply fuel as a service you need to buy this fuel. So someone has to deliver it to the point of sale and someone has to manufacture it from the resources that were extracted and this resource extraction might in turn require refueling services. So now that we have the boring economy talk out of the way, we can move on to talking about the current state of things. If you would like to hear more of me talking about the economy of Star Citizen, I have a series of videos on quantum and the dynamic economy. Let's start with the current state of hauling. Technically, it doesn't exist yet. While we do have delivery missions, which I consider to be a hauling contract, I think the actual hauling profession should involve cargo. However, the future of hauling is looking very bright. One of the upcoming features of the ongoing cargo refactor is the ability to attach virtually anything to a cargo grid. This should come in handy when transporting vehicles or components or other non-standard cargo. Another change coming with the same cargo refactor are cargo elevators present in hangars. These essentially allow you to transfer items, cargo or vehicles from your inventory into the physical universe. I believe that cargo elevators are one of the prerequisites to enable hauling missions. And I think that hauling missions for various factions and then eventually player contracts will be the final iteration of hauling. And of course this doesn't mean just legal hauling contracts, I can definitely imagine some smuggling missions appearing as well. Which brings us to trading, where hauling is just taking cargo from one location to another, a trader has to do research and scouting of trade locations and prices and keep track of supply and demand and then trade the appropriate amount of correct goods between two or multiple locations to make profit. Now, in the real world, these actions mostly happen without seeing the actual goods or even being in the same country. And from that point of view, trading is currently very basic in Star Citizen. Essentially, it combines the two professions into one, which seems to upset both traders and haulers. And this is on top of other issues such as locations not having enough goods or having too much goods or very low profit margins. That last one is I think the most concerning. Mainly because this issue tends to force small traders out of the profession. Which is a problem because CAG would like virtually all professions to be accessible to every player with any suitable ship. And by forcing out small traders I mean that a player with a small cargo ship is unlikely to match the potential profit from doing other things by trading. Also this increases the barrier of entry into trading and also decreases the variety of trading that's being done. Which I think generally decreases engagement which is always bad. Now this problem will eventually be solved and it will be solved in multiple ways. Eventually some commodities and locations will be restricted. For example by access, meaning that they are too dangerous or too difficult to access, either due to high probability of combat or due to the environment. For example a mining outpost that produces high quality or valuable ore 
but is placed in a remote system that is only accessible through a small and unstable jump point, or a drug farm placed inside a cave. Or they can be restricted by reputation, meaning that some locations won't sell you anything or only small amounts until you build up reputation. For example, a farm producing some high quality alcohol or an outpost in a lawless system that will require to do some missions before they allow you to trade. And finally, they can be restricted by volume, meaning that a given location won't produce or consume enough commodities to make it viable to take a large ship to trade there. For example, a series of outposts that need small amounts of various supplies and produce a very small amount of goods in exchange, which creates a perfect environment for small traders to operate. And then we have the upcoming cargo refactor features, for example, cargo loading timers and general cargo manipulation. The idea is that players will have to load their ships manually using the cargo elevators or pay for automated loading. This essentially creates an upper limit for volume of cargo that a single crew is able to transport in a given amount of time, which would create some relief for the commodity stock levels at certain locations. However, none of these improvements will ensure the complete separation of traders and haulers. Of course, there will be some players that want to do both, but it seems like the majority want to be one or the other. So what is the way to accommodate both groups? Well, for one, we would need to have the ability to create hauling contracts that can be taken by other players or NPCs. But there are many issues with this. For example, the possibility of cargo loss. While the loss may not be the hauler's fault, this does create a risk that can't be mitigated by the trader with the currently available options. However, as more insurance features are brought in, this may change. But at the same time, high value hauling contracts might require you to take a very safe route or bring protection. But I have one more idea, but I will get to that in a moment. First, let's talk about cargo decks. Cargo decks released a long time ago, but without any relevant features and nothing has been done since. But I still see a lot of potential. The orbital stations and the cargo decks on them were supposed to serve a very important purpose. They were supposed to be the place where cargo from long range cargo haulers was offloaded and loaded on smaller ships to ship it out to nearby locations and load cargo brought in from nearby small trade locations to be transported over long distances. And cargo decks can still do just that, but there are some changes that need to be done. I think the first step is to decouple the need to trade commodities at the commodity exchanges at landing zones from the physical location of the cargo. I think this doesn't need to go beyond bringing back the connected inventories of the station and the landing zone. This would allow you to dock your cargo ship, offload the cargo to the cargo deck, and then take a smaller ship or an automated shuttle to the landing zone to sell or buy. This would decrease the risk and save players some time. But decoupling the need for a cargo ship from the action of trading would actually open up even more contract opportunities for haulers. For example, you could be a trader flying between locations buying goods and then sending out hauling contracts to bring the goods to the point of sale. Now, this could be extended. CAG could add an option for traders to request that their goods are transported from one orbital station to another. And this would create a contract that would collect player goods and NPC goods from one station to another into one massive hauling contract. This would create some very interesting content for hull owners. However, this type of content is very far away right now. In the short term, I think we will mostly see updates to hauling as a profession before we see trading and economy being fleshed out further. It's also important to know that we haven't had an update regarding the dynamic economy in quite some time. But there is one thing that CAG can do in the short term and with the current technology and features. They can increase the diversity of commodities and commodity stocks found across locations in the verse. For example, food can only be purchased around Crusader. A trader with a small ship might not be willing to travel across the whole system to sell a small amount at a slightly better price. Instead, they will likely opt to do a local resupply run to mining outposts near Crusader for less income per trip but with a faster turnaround. Adding an outpost producing food or other commodities consumed by other outposts to other major planets in Stanton would create a lot of diversity 
which would in turn create engagement from small-scale traders. Now, 2024 is supposed to be a big year for cargo and for server meshing, so we can definitely expect some updates for trading and hauling and hopefully some economy updates and possibly new commodities as well. And with that being said, that's all for tonight. What do you think? Is it necessary to split trading and hauling professions? Should CAG bring back the connected inventories between landing zones and stations? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, fly safe and I will see you in the verse.